Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Ole Miss Rebels and the Kentucky Wildcats. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset City if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential they control the tempo of the game. The Wildcats should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Next, make sure you eat up the boards. Lastly, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Got a nice screen. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Dumps it in. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They move it up in a hurry. Top of the circle. Goes in. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. There's the screen up on top. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribble. Stolen away. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Looking for a good shot. They look to get it to the inside. From left of the circle. Can't put it down. Tries for two. The Rebels have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Thinks about the shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Moving it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Momentary look from three-point land. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Barber handles the pass. Trying to go inside. Kicks it out. Jackson handles the feed. Gets it to go. Let's look at it again. Trying to feed inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And they get the turnover. Puts it up looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. 
Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He attempts the three. Got it. And the ball goes out of play. Shepard is fired up and ready to go. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. And that's basic. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Number 44 makes the shot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Working it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. They work it around the perimeter. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He gets it to go. That's an eight nothing run. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Look at these fans, they're loving it. The man is off the charts, Brad. High post flashes for the opportunity. Fakes the shot and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The offense is having a hard time finding the open look. Great defense. time out I'd expect we're gonna see more focused play on both sides one would assume so oh, poor job poor job offensively I'm coaching he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach <laughs> he's pounding the ball in a deck where's he going and again they look to run trying to draw some contact he gets that one to fall. The center receives the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. Right there, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. The center takes the pass in the paint. Gave it up. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. The post flashes up high if he wants it. On the dribble, gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. The point guard receives the pass. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Gave it up. On the outside, lets it fly. Kentucky on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I got defense reacting and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. 
Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play, you got a chance really to win. Doesn't go. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Sets the screen for his teammate. Now they work it around the perimeter. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. On the dribble, gives it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. The Rebels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Oh, oh Mr. Nesler, that's a no-no. There's a double team waiting there. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. For two. That was nice. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Great play to take that to the basket. Blocked. Nice job defensively. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact, Brad, on the defensive player. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Both teams are looking to get something going here. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Gave it up. Pump fakes. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? In the paint. Makes it. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the shot. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Looks at a three. He drains it. Let's 
watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. And Brad, although the underdog holds the lead now, remember, it is very early, and we don't know if they have been in this position before. So we'll have to see if they'll be able to maintain it. All right, thanks, Aaron. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. They look like they're having a blast. Dump it inside. He dials long distance. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Looking for a good shot. Fakes a jumper. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and have a spin move to the goal. Check it out, Mr. Vitale. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. He goes to the line for the first time. It goes in. Both free throws go. That's an 8-0 run. Solid work getting back on D. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Looking for a good shot. Controlling the ball. He shoots. Way off target. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it through him about a second earlier. Up and in. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc. Looking for contact. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Gets it to fall. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The fans at Rupp Arena are in an uproar. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous? Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Leans in. Tickles the twine. We gotta roll that one back. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. From the top of the key. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Back 
back to the live action we go. Takes the pass in the paint. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Great play to take that to the basket. There's the trap. Steal. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He hits it. Gave it up. Taken away. Fake. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Left witch comes up with it. Here they go into the break for two. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, man. Come with a double team to stop it. Entry pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. We get another look. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. Isn't it great, Brad? <laughs> Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Goes up for two. That's good. Side. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Jumps in and he scores despite the hack. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. On the dribble, gives it up. He uses the shot fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. In the paint, trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Shot clock is dead. 
The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. They strip them in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard dip. For the bucket. And in and out. Puts it up. Looking for contact. And the ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. At the half, the Rebels trail by 21. It's been an entertaining one so far, Dick. We can say that. What's your play of the half? I think the kind of highlight that only a coach can love, Brad. His team working the ball down low to their big man for the inside basket. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Kentucky shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. Dick, you start looking at this when you were a coach and you were down this big at halftime. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's get out of here? I'll tell you what, David has really had a tough time against the Goliath. They have done a great job with Goliath coming out mentally focused and ready to perform. Gave it up. There's the fake. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Daddy's on fire. Shot to drop. Picks off the pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Great shot. Check him out, Brad. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. And he's no good from downtown. He makes the shot. to draw some contact. Gets it to go. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Double team now. Bad angle. Gave it up. Blocked. It sticks. Let the replay show us the real deal. For the bucket, perfectly executed. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Working it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For two, 
Great play to take that to the basket. Picked out of the air. Jumps into the defender. Perfectly executed. That's eight on answer. From the top of the circle. Goes in. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Dick has that backcourt comparison shaping up, you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. The Rebels are behind by 19. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. And he'll kick it back outside. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They run it up into transition. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. He tries to knock down the three. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Barber, he hit the deuce and the foul is called. Nice job of absorbing the foul and keeping his focus. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. You've got that right, Brad. He goes to the free throw line. He can't buy one. He grabs the rebound. Stolen away. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Nice shot. They scored eight in a row. Oh. 
Tries one from three-point land. He's money with the shot. For the bucket. And he missed. Look at that spacing. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He shoots from downtown. Way off target. Now they work it around the perimeter. Steals a pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And it goes in. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Picked off. Takes some pride on the defensive end. Tries to get the D to bite. He shoots from the top of the key. We've got a very lopsided effort here tonight, Dick. There's absolutely no doubt who the superior team has been tonight. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He hits it. The Wildcats are up by 21. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as expected, the favorite has led the way through most of this one, and that's what happens when you have the makeup of a great team. All right, thanks, Aaron. Tries for two. Sinks the shot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Looking for a good shot. He strokes it. Rims out. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Here's a double team. He bombs from outside. Off the rim and no good. Now the high screen. Perfectly executed. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. There's a double team waiting there. Strips the ball. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the inside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The ball goes out of play. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Gave it up. There's the block. Oh, 
He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. He'll shoot one. He sinks it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. For two, perfectly executed. off the lazy pass. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Picks off the pass. Hard foul. Boy, it's so important when you get the points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I am. seconds on the clock he tries the three ball drains it and he'll kick it back outside isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper scorches the net Too many dribbles and a steal. Tries for two. The lay in. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Can't get the shot to go. They work the perimeter. Penetrates and kicks back. And the ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. He's got a high post flasher. There's the pick for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Working around the perimeter. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. Webster in the paint. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Makes the shot. A 
up and inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. It's good. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. It's a fast break possibility. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Picked out of the air. The power forward gets the ball. It's stolen. Way out on top. Great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. There they come with a double team to stop it. Good job defensively. Fast break possibility coming. And working around the perimeter. Intercepted. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. There's the trap. Perfectly executed. The fans at Rupp Arena are in an uproar. Double team now, bad angle. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Picked off. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Oh, big time screen set on the defender. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Shot clock is dead. On the inside. Got the high pick. Off the rim and no good. The lane. Jumped in front to take it away. Launches it. Great shot. Well, Dick, this is unbelievable. I didn't expect this. I think they should have won, and they couldn't find a way to get anything done tonight. I'll tell you one thing. They're so well coached. They're really prepared, and they understand each other. They know who their strong players are, should be shooting the ball, and those that are liability. Kentucky wins a game that was never really close. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant they would be. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.